Sometimes our plans just aren't top priority, you know? Hello my fellows, hope you're doing okay. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today I thought we would get real for a second and talk about plant burnout. I mean, it's all fun and games to buy plants and add them to our collection, but when you are tasked with taking care of a gajillion plants, it gets to be quite overwhelming. One of you requested this video a while ago, and to be honest, I was a little bit hesitant to film this because I'm not the perfect plant parent and I don't have it all figured out. And if you know me, you know that I identify as a chronic underwaterer, and probably need to water my plants a little bit more frequently than I do. But on the whole, I think I'm doing pretty okay keeping on top of things and I've got a pretty good handle on the plant care. So I thought I would make this video anyway in case this is going to be helpful to some of you. But obviously, take this with a grain of salt. This is quite subjective. Our environments differ, our schedules differ, our preferences differ. So. You know, do with this information what you will, and if you have any tips on how to combat plant burnout, or if you have any sort of advice on how to care for plants without feeling overwhelmed, and then feel free to leave them in the comments down below as well. We'll help each other out. I think that a lot of us can relate to the sense of overwhelm and even guilt sometimes if we don't feel like we're giving our plant babies the care that they deserve, because let's be honest, we probably also spent quite a bit of money on them. So if you're interested to hear my take on how to care for plants without feeling overwhelmed then definitely keep on watching but before we get started if you're new around here my name is grace and i post plant videos every week so if you're interested in planty content like this feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you get notified when next week's video is out First off, without getting all preachy or anything like that, I think it's really important to acknowledge how you're feeling. So if you start to feel a sense of dread or if you're putting off your plant chores like watering and repotting, what have you, just acknowledge it and don't feel bad. It happens to the best of us. We're only human. And so, you know, put yourself first, go do something relaxing and fun for you, like take a walk or something and then come back to it. Unless your plants have been neglected for months and months and are on the brink of death, a couple of hours isn't going to make that much of a difference and they can usually wait. It's also going to be really helpful to identify what exactly is causing the sense of dread. Could it be that you've been battling pests for months and you're just sick and tired of it? Or are your plants needing to be watered very frequently? Or maybe you're just doing such a good job that your plants are growing out of control and taking over your space. Figure out that thing that's causing you to feel overwhelmed and see if there is a low effort solution to it. For example, if it's pests, perhaps look into beneficial insects that can really help to take all the manual work out of your end. Or if it's the watering issue, perhaps look into self-watering pots or semi-hydro, or consider putting your plants in a high humidity environment like a greenhouse or a grow tent so that you don't have to water them as frequently. And if it's something else that I haven't touched in this video yet, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and we can troubleshoot them together. But if you're getting that feeling of dread and burnout more often than not, it might be a sign that it is a broader issue. I know that a lot of us probably have lots of things on our plates and lots of competing priorities. Just take a deep breath, relax, and maybe think about what needs to change. Is it a time management thing? And if so, would having a routine or a set schedule help with that? For example, for me, I do keep my eye on my plants throughout the week, but I do have a dedicated chunk of time on the weekends for watering, repotting, and all that jazz. But I also know of other other people who have a different sort of schedule where early in the morning before they start work they do around and see what plants need to be watered or what needs to be taken care of alternatively they could do it after work when they're done with everything else and of course this is up to your personal preference and what you're comfortable with there is no right or wrong just find what works best for you one thing that i do find to be quite helpful is to centralize a lot of your plants into one location it really makes a big difference because you don't have to run all over your house to water them or check on them you can see them all at a glance but of course if you're using your plants as decor and like to have them intentionally placed all around the house that's fine too for example if you've got your plants in your living room in your kitchen in your bathroom in your bedroom etc perhaps break up their care into dedicated days of the week so maybe do your living room plants on the saturday and then your bedroom plants on the sunday and the kitchen on the monday and etc you get the gist personally i do have my plants scattered around the house at the moment but if I had it my way, I would centralize them a lot more. 
But having said that, I do have majority of my plants in the grow tent and I can tell you that it is such a lifesaver and such a game changer. I'm not being paid to say this, although the grow tent was sent to me kindly by the Mars Hydro team, but you know, I am actually really happy with mine. It might not look the prettiest from an interior design standpoint because it's literally like a tent in the middle of your space. However, it's really functional for me. I don't have to worry about light. I don't have to worry about humidity and I can get away with watering my plants less often because they don't dry out as quickly and it really helps to take the stress out of plant maintenance. And of course, the type of plants play a big role too. Sensitive high maintenance plants are definitely more stressful to own and grow because we're constantly worrying about them. And you know what? The plant parent experience or the plant journey shouldn't be so stressful and it should actually be enjoyable. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so into Hoya these days because not only are they semi-succulent, which means that they don't require as much water, they also prefer to be root bound, which means you don't have to spend a lot of time upsizing the pots or repotting them. They actually prefer to stay in the same pot for years and years on end. Plus, because they have quite hard waxy leaves, they are impervious to spider mites or thrips, but you just have to watch out for mealybugs. And on top of all of that, they flower too, so they check all of my boxes. And if you're a Hoya lover too, definitely hit that like button to let me know. And if you've already considered all of the above but still feel overwhelmed, perhaps it is time to downsize. I see a lot of plant people decluttering their collections at the moment and I think it's great if you can rehome some of the plants that no longer spark joy for you so you can focus on the ones that do. Remember, indoor gardening is supposed to be a hobby, not a contest or a chore. But if you start to feel like it's a chore, maybe reframe your mindset and think, I get to water my plants, I get to take care of them, as opposed to I have to do all these planty maintenance. And lastly, more often than not, the sense of overwhelm is coming from internal pressure. No one is forcing you to take care of your plants, so cut yourself some slack. This goes back full circle to what we talked about in the beginning, which is to take care of yourself first. Because if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna take care of your plants? I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful, guys, if you made it all the way till the end. I really appreciate you. And if you're after more planty tips and tricks, I have a whole playlist on plant care tips that I'll link right here, so click to check them out. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay mellow, my fellows.